Yesterday I shared with you a verse that I'm finding encouraging at the moment from St Paul's letters to the Romans. Paul's prayer for the Roman church. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. And earlier in that chapter, he says something else about hope, which perhaps gives us, gives me a little clue about how we may have and learn to live in that hope. He says, for whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance, through the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Paul is giving us a simple recipe of how in our circumstances, however difficult they may be, we may learn to live one day at a time, prayerfully in hope, through endurance and through the scriptures, learning from our brothers and sisters in the past, day by day and through enduring one day to the next, offering our joys and our sorrows in prayer to our loving Heavenly Father, knowing that we are part of a family of prayer, knowing that we can support one another in prayer, knowing that we can ask our brothers and sisters to pray for us, knowing that we can be a prayer chain, that we can be a prayer support, that we can ask for help, that we can pick up the phone, that we can write an email, that we do not have to be alone. We cannot be physically present to one another unless we are in a bubble or in a family, but we do have modern technology that means we can be present to one another. And because as Christians, we have the grace and power of the Holy Spirit, we can be in Christ and through prayer offer one another to our loving Heavenly Father because we are all in Christ. So let us as we approach this Holy Week and this Easter offer one another to our loving Heavenly Father. Let us pray for each other that we may endure from today until tomorrow, that we may draw our encouragement from the scriptures, that we may draw encouragement from following our Lord and Saviour through his holy week, through the cross and to the joy of the resurrection.